maybe three years ago, I had a full-time job. And that job has has created a lot of work. I mean, a job put, created pressure for me and turned out to be kind of foundational and kind of what I wanted to do with my practice. But I was blessed enough to be able to get out of that in like a really weird way. They sold the company. Um, they gave us all six months severance. And that six months time, I used to really dig down deep into my practice. But I was in this space in my home um, for the entirety of six months. I didn't really have much place to go. And so I kind of got comfortable just being home and just figuring out how to set up boundaries to get stuff done and how to rest in the space. So at the beginning of the pandemic, it was like an extra creative like spurt for me. Now towards the middle and towards the end of being quarantined, that's when the stress and the pressure kind of kicked in a little bit for me. And that's kind of when I pulled out, uh, revisited a piece I wanted to make, Nike Loops. We're definitely gonna need. To, we're definitely gonna need. Um, foot, we're definitely gonna need um, position today. Okay, my, I'm gonna do a, a long one first. Well, actually, I'm gonna do a short one just to do a test one. And that's gonna be probably. I'll probably start kind of where that guy is. Just to, just to this? get the where angle. Yeah, going this way. Yeah, I'm always running that way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be in the street. Okay. Left to side. Left to side. Left to side. Right. Nike Loops is a project that I've actually been marinating on a thing about for a while now. And it kind of became poignant again for me in terms of like escaping the pattern. Because now this pattern that was freeing for me in terms of being in the studio and working was now constricting me. Just like being at work nine to five was constricting me. And so Nike Loops kind of became again another point of departure to be able to think about escape and think about being trapped. And the entirety of the piece is me running. The cameras are, toggled, are on my physical body and I'm running. And the way the piece unfolds is, is looped. And you're seeing it all happen and, uh, and unfurl itself um, as you can move around and see from different parts of my body. Round number two with a hose. But the way the piece is, is actually coming out currently in, in that is gonna be in a more VR space. And that's because the piece is about some kind of escape, some kind of freedom and being trapped. So a VR space kind of encapsulates that naturally. It's a way to escape, but still being physically trapped. Um, and it has an interesting dynamic that way. So I think it lends itself very well to the conceptual basis of the work itself. And during the pandemic, we're kind of stuck in routines, um, being stuck in our homes. So this idea of escape from that, um, ideas of also being trapped in that, being trapped in the cycle of some kind of freedom. This, this piece is pushing me um, to go even further um, you know, through the rabbit hole of my own practice. An artist is someone who puts thoughts inside material, um, whatever that material is. Um, and, and, and what, un unloading that a little bit, because it's simple and it, it, it kind of is its own thing, but really it is kind of for me thinking a lot. A lot of thinking, even if you're a painter and there's a lot of like process in it, still a lot of thinking of like, you know, how am I, what, what does my particular painting look like? What is my particular style of painting? How do I approach the material? How I approach the things? How do I understand them? What am I trying to do with it? All these different things kind of like um, you're thinking about. And so I think an artist is, is taking these thoughts and then somehow getting them past just thoughts into some kind of realm, material realm. So I think this is something that happens, you know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, for me, it was, it was a, a process of coming to terms that this is what I want to spend time on. Um, 
and you know thinking about the writings of myself and my bio as I became accepting myself more as an artist you know you know at one point I was like Joseph Brock um, uses the bass to express his voice and so that's what I want is from to use myself more as a filter um, to get at these things that I'm interested in I, I'm a very broad thinker but what I want my work to be is kind of a, a, a growing repository of, of ideas and attacking ideas from multiple different angles and thoughts from multiple different angles um, in a way to refine oneself. 40 years from now, I had a, um, a retrospective. And somebody walks through my work, I, I would like them to see me change with the work which is inevitable. But I also would like to hit different ideas from different angles and sometimes, you know, competing angles to maybe make them think twice about something. That's kind of what I see my work as. I see them as different, like, seeds um, to potentially sprout ideas in people. And they might not do that. And that's something I became very okay with. I'm okay with people rejecting my work because I'm putting in my moral perspective or my perspective or whatever it is inside of the world. Left side, left side, left side, left side, right, left side. We sometimes have a stronger reaction to rejection and negativity than we do to positivity. So it's like another kind of infiltration uh, measure, another inception measure to be able to kind of get an idea across. And I like to kind of contend with that to try to kind of provoke you to have an experience and provoke you to create your own thought, whether it's rejection or an acceptance. Because when it lives in that middle zone for me sometimes, those are normally the experiences I find for myself that I kind of forget. I have some pieces where, where I'm like talking about my issues, what I'm feeling right now, my mortal thoughts right now, and what I'm struggling with. Because it, it, it's really important for me to be very um, transparent. So transparency and opaqueness um, are, are, are really important to me in, in my practice. And so that's kind of what I'm showing. I'm just showing me contending with these things to other people. and. And, 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 and it being messy and it being not that great sometimes. Sometimes I think this is good. Sometimes I don't really know why this came out. Sometimes it's just my desire to pull myself this way and do this because that's what I want to do. And so it's really just kind of like this kind of very messy process for me where I just hope um, something in there can be uh, can 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 show some point of view that might or might not be helpful for somebody. Ooh. 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 Ooh.